Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my yarn adventures, the week that was. What did I get up to? Not a lot. Work's still pretty busy. And yes, I am still doing tea towel toppers. Eight more down. And I am behind on my quota and management knows. Anyway, I've done eight more, so who can complain? I have an acquisition to show you and some happy mail and a finished project. So let's get started. My acquisition was across the road from my work is this little shop and I found ta -da, Christmas koalas. Now these aren't as big as the ones one I showed you from last year that I did earlier in a video, but they're quite cute. And there was three of them and I bought three and I brought them home and that night I made a lovey and put it in my Etsy shop and it sold within three days. So today I have made a lovey for this one and he'll get a lovey tonight. And I'll probably put him in my Etsy shop. They're quite light so mail costs aren't that much when they buy them. But there you go. Da -da -da -da. Two little koalas, so what's three? And one has gone to a new home in New South Wales. They were my acquisitions. Now, my happy mail, I'm really excited about because my yarn advent calendar has turned up from my yarny corner, Alex and Danny. Um, they did a very Yorkshire advent and the, thing, the reason I decided on that one was I liked the idea that I could pay each month and that it wasn't such a big financial outlay in one hit. Um, as far as cost goes overall, not that expensive. And comparing it to if I had bought similar in Australia and mail costs, it would have cost about the same. It probably would have come in cheaper if the Australian dollar hadn't bombed out just before uh, I was due to pay for the main skein because that bumped the price up. But I'm still like really excited. I didn't feel the pain of handing over her a huge amount of money to buy an advent. It just like a bit each month and it was great. And I really appreciate the way they did it. And I really appreciate the fact that they got it away really quickly and it has arrived in plenty of time for me to start my advent project. Considering all the postage problems in all countries, including ours and worldwide, they did an awesome job to get it here on time. So I must thank them. My pattern I have picked today and bought the pattern and it's a knitted pattern so when I do videos to share the advent with you and the pattern I probably will put spoiler alert just in case there's someone out there who doesn't want to see or hasn't seen what they've got yet um, and then they don't have to watch it or can choose not to watch it and wait till they open theirs I just think that's a courtesy. A lot of advents were sold and it's a courtesy to the other people who bought them. Um, I'm really excited, as you can tell. Alex actually did a video on different advent projects you could do. And um, I thought that was awesome. So I'll put the link to that in the description below. She also has her own shawl pattern, which would be, I was looking at it, I have done it before. Would be good for an advent. But next year if she does an advent, Maybe she could design another pattern for a blanket or a shawl, a lap gown or a shawl and put it on sale with her advent. Who knows? <coughs> Sorry, my throat is quite dry today. I just have to pause the video and get a drink. It's very and dusty and dry outside and very hot and it's very overcast. That's why I've got the artificial lighting. We are expecting a big rainstorm shortly. You'll hear thunder and rumbling. It's certainly building up to having a big storm. We could use the rain, if nothing else, to settle the dust. So I'm not always croaking and coughing. That was my acquisition and I'm so excited about it. My finished object. Well, in a previous video I had commented I was having trouble getting fiber fill for a to finish off Amigurumi projects. There was none available in town. And I was talking to a lady at work and she said, look, I've got a bit at home that I'm not gonna use. I've had it for ages. It's in, you know, new in a bag. Do you want that? And she brought it in and it was awesome because I managed to finish a project. I'm gonna have to pause the video. I'm gonna sneeze. 
I will be glad when it rains. It is playing havoc with my sinuses, my throat, all this dust around. I shouldn't have gone outside before I made a video. So, my finished object for Amigurumi Wars that's being hosted by Sims Crafting World this, this month is Lucky the Banana Split Snail. Ta da! There he is. Here's the Banana Split Snail. Now, the actual snail is full of yarn ends from projects that I have cut off, but the three ice cream scoops are full of fibre fill from the lady at work and it was awesome so I could finish it. I was getting a little bit worried about continually using yarn ends. Now, I'm not 100% happy with him. I did everything according to the pattern. I used the same hook, I used Spotlight um, Super Saver which is like Red Heart Super Saver but he will not sit up on his own. He keeps falling forward like he's too heavy. I don't know if I should stitch his head there to the green scoop and hope that he stays upright or put a weight on the bottom. But he just will not stay up no matter what I do. I've tried sort of putting weights on him and blocking him and making him bend more, but he won't. So that is Lucky the Banana Split Snail. Now it's a free pattern. There he is. Um, I couldn't see who it was by, but I will put a link to the pattern in the description below. He had strawberry chocolate and vanilla. I didn't have any chocolate brown yarn, so I just did lime green because that's my favourite ice cream, lime green ice cream. But there you have it. Lucky the banana split snail. I did enjoy making it in the sense that it's something different that I haven't tried before. Just disappointed he won't stay upright. I think maybe I'll have to sew his head to the ice cream. Um, but it took me, well, it's hard to say how long it took me to make it because it was across a couple of weeks chasing fiber film. But there you have it. That is my finished object along with the loveys on my koalas. That's about all I have done besides tea towel toppers this week. Reeves did introduce me to a game. Now, I'm not a gamer. I don't play games. But this one I like because it's like trivia and it's a two-player thing where one goes, the other goes, and we play against each other. Except Reeves says you're becoming addicted. You have an addictive personality. I should have known. We'll have to make sure we establish screen time so you don't want to keep playing till all hours. I do enjoy it because it's trivia. I do like trivia. And the fact that it's just him and I on the couch taking turns. And it's usually the best out of three. But I've been the best out of nine because I wouldn't give up. But that's what I've been up to this week. Working, making tea towel toppers and just a bit of crafting and doing a game. I did get out in the garden this morning because we've been expecting the rain. And I did a bit of pruning while Saxon ran around and had some fun. I'm trying to be a little bit more active rather than just sitting and crafting all weekend. Nothing wrong with crafting. I just need to move more. So until next time, stay safe, stay well, and let me know what you think I should do with Lucky, the banana split snail. How can I make him stay upright by himself? Bye for now.